Thank you everybody for joining. Today we're going to be discussing how to set up coordinate system projections and how to create data shortcut projects within Civil 3D. A lot of this information is available within our Autodesk Civil 3D 2024 from start to finish book release. Uh, it was released a couple weeks ago and is available in PDF, Kindle, and hard copy format. If you know anyone looking to upskill or get some information on Civil 3D, get some training, please by all means refer to them. In any event, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to start a new drawing and go over how we can set up the coordinate system projections. Typically, uh, we handle this within the tool space. So we're going to call up our tool space within the home ribbon. If we switch over to the settings tab and right click on our file name and go to edit drawing settings, we have this zone section at which point we have a whole slew of options here. In this case, uh, for our data set, for our particular data set, we're gonna set this to USA, South Carolina, and set it up for NAD 83, South Carolina State Plain US foot. And you see the uh, units also update. And once we set that definition, that coordinate system projection, we have access to the geolocation ribbon, and we can turn on the aerial imagery, which is essentially coming from Bing Maps or Microsoft Bing. So this is a great sanity check, just turning this on whenever you create a new drawing or receive a new file to make sure that your file is in fact projected accurately. So let's go ahead and attach an XREF. We're gonna attach the survey model XREF. Again, this is available in that data set for our book. We're gonna allow it to insert at 000, and as an overlay reference type attachment. If we zoom extents by typing Z, enter, E, enter at the command line, we can quickly zoom into our site. This is our survey file that's being X referenced into our current model. And we can see that everything does line up. We have utilities being displayed within the roadway uh, area and our parcels are just offset of it. So we know that, we're, that everything seems to be lining up um, in accordance with the, the road displayed within the, the map. So creating a new data shortcut. First thing, before we do anything, we're gonna to have to save this file, as you notice by that message. So let's go ahead and save this file. This is gonna be a temporary file, so don't mind, don't worry too much about where I'm saving it, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to give this a logical name and save it in a logical location within your project. For now, I'm just gonna call this Survey Model 2 because it's a temporary file, just to show you what the steps are for creating the Data Shortcuts project. Once we have the file saved, we're gonna right click on the Data Shortcuts again. We're gonna select the Set Working Folder option. And here we're going to, again, this is just a temporary location, so I'm gonna go up one level. We're gonna add a new folder. We're gonna call this Example Data Shortcuts and we're gonna save it in that location. We're gonna create a new data shortcuts project in that location. Once we set that working folder, we're gonna create a new data shortcuts folder, and we're gonna give this a name. Again, this is another temporary name. Don't get hung up on what I'm typing, but you'd wanna give it a logical name. And all this information, again, is available within our book, Autodesk Civil 3D 2024, from start to finish along with the data sets and the folder structures that were applied throughout. So once we have that created, we're gonna to wanna to associate that to the current drawing, and now we're ready to go to start creating new uh, data references. We can link to other files, so we don't necessarily have to X reference uh, a, whole, a whole file into another. We could actually take just bits and pieces and data reference them. So to show you what uh, our data set looks like a little bit, we're gonna set the working folder back to that chapter 14 and it automatically identifies that data shortcut project. We're gonna associate that with our current drawing. And now you can see as I expand some of these out, the surfaces, alignments, we have all of those data references available to us. And these are now accessible in our current file. We could link them accordingly. And we again, we don't have to necessarily X reference the entire file. We could just data reference individual modeled components into our file as needed. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. Or feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm always connected and would love to 
have some conversations and collect your thoughts. Thanks.